Now it's time for TNA Impact, November 16th, Woo. 2006. We are Did wrestling Did the new The very first time they go to prime time on Spike TV. Prime time, baby. Yeah, this is, uh, it's funny, we were, we were just talking about it, though. But, and you'll find out later in the show, but they had some interesting match types the week before this on Impact <laughs> to get people the ready hell. for prime time TNA, like a reverse <laughs> battle royal and a four things on four poles match. <laughs> <laughs> So I just want to make so everyone quick. fully aware here, real quick, Tony. Russo is very much still booking this show. Yes. You're telling me yeah. that it wasn't Jim Cornette who did the <laughs> Jim Cornette framing <laughs> Vince Russo? I actually have no idea how they work together. Maybe that's why Jim was as far away from the studio as possible. You know, Jared, yeah. you heard Jared's pod. He's like, I tried to put people together and try and make a good show. So, you know, he yeah, tried well. to unite sides. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, yeah well. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, oh, Jeff Jarrett. Speaking of Jarrett, by the way, sweet Jeff Jarrett video uh, went up on our Twitter, Twitter.com slash deadlock pw made by cheese uh yeah. awesome stuff jeff jared himself retweeted it too hell so, yeah he's he talked about it on my world he showed the he, he better that would be so <laughs> if i tune in my world and hear that shit that'd be fucking <laughs> so sweet <laughs> oh, oh. my reaction would be that's awesome <laughs> before we get into this uh so this was primetime debut and this is like a two-hour show did they only have one hour after this or was it two hours going forward i, I was wondering if this was just a primetime debut and then it was two hours and then it went back to one hour. you know what i think sure. you, i think that is what it was i think okay. that is what it was because then i yeah. think they made a big deal out them getting two hours going two yeah, hours yeah. Yeah. Too, Tony. Okay. yeah i think so yeah. so i just wanted to put that in the frame yes. of like wrestling this is also the go home show for tna genesis 2006 um this episode in particular november 16 2006 uh the primetime debut did a 1.0 in 2006 Whoa. which is nice. tremendous for now <laughs> i don't know i don't know how good the, it was the, back then the 1.0 for them you know funny enough at the time a lot of people thought maybe that the primetime announcement would push the rating up a little bit, but 1.0 yeah. is pretty much par for the course for them at that time. Forever, really. I mean, yeah. they don't. I think that's kind of where it's, they hover. It's yeah, also crazy. because it was Kurt Angle's first match. Yeah. So oh, people yeah, thought yeah. primetime plus Kurt Angle's first match that it would sure. pop a rating, but it really Why didn't kinda, it? Um, I mean, as you saw, I mean, we watched it forever too. It's like there was a very core amount of people. It was about 1 million people that watched CNA every week, and it never yeah. changed. Or Yeah, that's just, just how it was. That's true, honestly. Yeah. TNAites, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the competition, though. WWE Monday Night Raw from November 13th, 2006. Let me tell you a little bit about that show. Tell you, And then we'll go down to TNA show uh, as in this review. And you, you can all figure out what you think was better. This show on Raw, DX of Shawn Michaels and Triple H defeated Charlie Haas, Lance Cade, Trevor Murdoch, and Viscera in a four-on-two handicap match in seven minutes. Huh? <laughs> Trevor Murdoch, yes. NWA champion now. Yeah, Viscera, uh, awesome Anal guy. Destroyer. No. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of uh, DX, there's no other DX other than Shawn Michaels and Triple H. There was never was, and there never will be. Well, was there's some two. interesting. There's only them two. <laughs> DX uh, propaganda on this show. <laughs> this was the return of DX, right? They came back again and. On TNA or on Raw? <laughs> <laughs> yes, the answer Are there is more DXs I need to know about. <laughs> no, the this one on Raw. The, that was I think the DX for kids. This yeah, right. Good. Okay, this is the one yeah. they had the the rooster on the shirt or whatever. The My cock. cock. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think this is the first comeback, not sure. the 2009 one. This is okay, the first okay, one. okay. All right. Yes. All right. Okay. Uh, the Spirit Squad of Johnny and Kenny with Mikey. Mitch and Nikki <laughs> defeated the Highlanders of Robbie McAllister and Rory McAllister in three minutes. I don't. Both you know what's funny? The, I think I only know the Highlanders. I yeah. only know the Highlanders from TNA when they showed up. In the crowd. <laughs> showing up and hiding his face. It's fine. Yeah, that's fucked. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, that did happen. If anyone didn't know, I don't know which one it was. It was either Robbie or Rory showed up I in think the it crowd. Was Robbie, because they just put Robbie on the screen. It was Robbie. Yeah. Showed up in the crowd at TNA. TNA was taped, so they didn't have to do this. <laughs> but they zoom in on them, show them, give them a nameplate, and say, hey, look, it's one of the fucking Islanders. I think we talked about that on the pod one time, didn't we? Did we yeah, that that was show? probably referenced a hundred yeah. times, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's still unbelievable. They're like, wow. It's an all-timer. They, they didn't sign him either. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's fired from WWE and then disappeared. I don't even know if he had a tryout or anything. Yeah, I don't think, no. I don't think, I don't think I've ever heard of him since that. Yeah, yeah that's thing. rough. Why didn't he just go back stage. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, John Cena, 
who is the current champion, defeats Umaga with Armando Alejandro Estrada by DQ in three minutes. Jeff Hardy defeats Johnny Nitro with Molina to win the WWE Intercontinental Championship in 12 minutes. And Jeff Hardy recently chasing for the 24-7 title on Raw. <laughs> Everyone was upset but about this. But he got this. the music. <laughs> He did get the music. God bless <laughs> you remember that? that? You got the yeah. music now. <laughs> One <laughs> week. That's it. <laughs> <Get fucked. laughs> Mickey James defeats Lita with Mickey's feet tied together in three minutes. Oh, did you write this, Tony? Yeah. Oh, did you write oh, this? Oh. <laughs> oh. That's actually not true. Tony wrote that in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and rated RKO of Edge and Randy Orton defeated Ric Flair and Roddy Piper to win the World Tag Team titles in five minutes. Right, repeat that so. one more time. So Edge and Randy Orton, <laughs> mm -hmm. not Rated the champions, RKO. Rated, Rated RKO, yeah, okay. defeat Ric Flair and Roddy Piper, <laughs> the champions. The, the reigning <laughs> and defending champions. World Tag Team Champions in five minutes uh, to win the tag titles. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Who did Flair and Piper originally win the belt from? Any idea? Was it like Carlito and Carlito's friend? I don't know who it was. <laughs> that's a hell of idea. Let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably fucking right, honestly. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'll have to look, but yeah. Carlito and Carlito's friend. That's it. That's the answer. <laughs> Moving on. So yeah, that was that was raw. Oh, that was also a taped one, I think. Mm. That was because this was in England, so sure. it was a little pre preempted. So uh was it insurrection? That, it was it was yeah, it was insurrection. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe they beat the spirit squad. Oh, uh, Mikey. <laughs> Kenny and, and Mitch. <laughs> Mitch, yeah, it was Mitch. Definitely, Mitch took the pinfall. Yeah, they That's beat awesome. him at Cyber Sunday 2006 to win the titles. Oh, uh, you know what? That's the show where Shawn Michaels is back. playing on the laptop. Do, 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 yeah, do. Yes. <laughs> it was November 5th, 2006, and so obviously not a long fucking raid for the two. Um, but yeah, that was. So, what do you think that show did ratings wise? Throw me a number. And then editing uh, the real answer, you yeah, fucking I'm just, asshole. I'm gonna edit in. <laughs> the, whatever, it doesn't matter what I say right now. 14.4. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> wrong. Correct. <laughs> Pick one, whatever one you want to use. <laughs> use it. <laughs> <laughs> they did a. Tony, you want to take a guess here? Well, I can't because James already got the answer correct. I can't You're right. It was. Take a James oh, was right. Point, it was. Uh, it was. Five. Ooh, close, Tony. James was closer, though. It was a 3.8. <laughs> uh, yeah. What did I say before? You said a 3.8, 3. of course. 8. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this show. I quit. Get it again. I hate it. How does he keep getting away with this? <laughs> That's awesome. Did 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 did. Here I come. This is the bit that kills the show. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, what is going on? Anyway, Joe likes call. <laughs> <laughs> you like music? Anyone like music around here? <laughs> hey, uh, James, what is going on in the world of the dirt sheets uh, as of uh, this week? Oh, Nose baby, six. oh, baby. All right. Yeah, let's take a look. F4W online newsletter 594 from November 13th. So it's yes. a couple days before. TNA, oh, of course, that, is taped. I, uh, I fucked that up last time when you weren't here. I said that those were Meltzer's notes. Those were Alvarez's notes. Sorry about that, everybody. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. The Observer, for some reason, isn't logged for 2006. So okay. it's only F4W in 2006. I'm not too yeah. sure why. Maybe Meltzer said, I, maybe I'm done with Red. Maybe this sucks and I'm out. <laughs> I, I, I didn't like that year. <laughs> so, I fucking hated everything. F4W 594 here. I only had one little note here. I thought it was funny. Okay. Tully Blanchard had a confrontation with JBL backstage last week. That involved JBL oh bitching him out in front of everyone and calling him a drug addict and a hypocrite. Oh my God. Tully Blanchard made life hell for Bradshaw and several of his friends, including the late Bobby Duncombe Jr., back when they were both breaking in, and JBL decided that right now was the time to get his receipt. <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough. He said, this got mixed reactions. Some thought Bradshaw was totally unprofessional, and others thought Tully Blanchard deserved every bit of it. Tully Blanchard, who just got hired, quit the creative team a few days later. I'm told it wasn't 100% because of the Bradshaw deal. It was more a combination of that and the fact that the road schedule sucked. Hmm. Interesting. Tully Blanchard and JBL fighting backstage sounds awesome. JBL fought backstage with everyone, it sounds like. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, like, JBL you know, decided that 15 years later, now is time to get the receipt. Oddly enough, it always seemed like guys that were smaller or older than him, too. <laughs> Very interesting. It's weird when you look around and everybody's the problem. It's actually you. <laughs> <laughs> it's real weird. Don't care. Throw a good lariat ratio. <laughs> 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 
F4W Online 595. This is November 20th, so a few days after the November 16th episode of TNA that yes. we watched. Developmental update from WWE. Still nothing on Monty Brown, though the feeling is he'll sign at some point. Mm. Uh, also, three names have signed to WWE this week. No, no, read this date, November 20th, 2006. Three names. Natty Neidhart, TJ Wilson, wow. and Claudio Castagnoli. Wow. Whoa. Jesus. <laughs> And so t- what I was mean, the deal in 2006 with Claudio that he went here and then left? He, so, oh God, I don't even know. Okay, so he gets signed and then mysteriously, like, gets released. Now, I think it was a visa thing, but I okay. will tell you, just for fun, that the rumor going around on the, really, mostly CCW fans and then all my friend oh, group. Oh, hell yeah. Was that he loved cocaine? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's actually the true one. That's the true one. I just checked. <laughs> oh, you, you double checked that? Yeah. The Meltzer said that. <laughs> That's awesome. That's crazy. Now I'm pretty sure that was not the case, but that was. <laughs> I swear, I swear that was the coke thing was came up so much more often than anything. Like not the visa. Like no one even considered the visa. It was oh man, he just fucking straight loved to coke. that. <laughs> yeah. That's the internet boards, baby. They're crazy. It was. <laughs> Here's another update. There was a preview this week for a Mr. McMahon's ass cartoon, oh, which will star airing on WWE.com. Yes. I, they, Someone, they actually revisit this later, like 10 years so, later. So they they did, they did aired one episode. And they then, did, yeah. And it ended up on, like a, I think it was their Survivor Series 06 DVD. And somebody tweeted it to me like that. It was like, I don't remember how long it was, but it was probably a couple minutes. But then... They got fucked in the ass by what was it, Assy McGee? Assy, <laughs> Is that what yeah. yeah, that was yeah. Assy McGee said, "You can't they do also, an ass show. We're an ass they show." They aired it on the dot com too, so it wasn't just a DVD. I think it was on the dot. No, it was well. meant to be an online exclusive. Yeah, I think that's what I think. Was that what it said there, James? But it, it made airing. it on the DVD. Yeah, it was I a think WWE. it was a, a it, yeah, it was a, w, a DVD bonus. Uh, I guess to get people to oh, go wow. to the website to watch it after because uh, everyone sees it and oh man, I want to see more of Vince McMahon's ass. Yeah, so they definitely, I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure I remember reading that this was pretty much a direct Assy McGee, like, copy. Like, they saw that and was like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so that's pretty much, I think that's why Assy McGee was like, now I'm going to let you try that no more times. You know what's <laughs> funny? I actually, I have it here, actually, the thing, what happened with that, if you'd like me to read it. It's from, sure, go for yeah. it. Uh, so the creators of the animated series Assy McGee have filed a lawsuit against WWE over the Mr. McMahon's Kiss My Ass cartoon, which debuted recently on WWE.com. Assy McGee is an animated sitcom featuring Assy McGee, a vigilante police officer who is literally a walking pair of buttocks. <laughs> the series <laughs> premiered on November 26, 2006 for the Cartoon Network's late night adult swim block. Michael Cole, who oversees WWE.com, asked one of his staffers to come up with a creative idea with Vince McMahon. Uh, oh, that Vince McMahon would like. Whoever came up with the idea decided to rip <laughs> off the Adult Swim car- uh, show. Furthermore, a few of the storylines used for the McMahon cartoon were blatantly stolen from Assy McGee. <laughs> to make Whoa. matters worse for McMahon, the Cartoon Network is owned by Turner Broadcasting, Ooh. his old oh, rival. <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> also, they can't even really take this to court since they've got no defense whatsoever. Regarding Vince McMahon's original thoughts on the cartoon, McMahon thought it was the best thing ever because it was a <laughs> cartoon about his own ass. <laughs> However, when he found out about the lawsuit, he became infuriated, to say the least. Michael Cole, who, ha- who had hired a separate Flash animator to produce the cartoon full-time and was also working on t-shirts, claimed he'd never even heard of S.E. McGee. <laughs> this sure. didn't fly too well because it appears that WWE will have to pay for the mistake in the form of cash to Turner. Due to this incident, Michael Cole is said to be in serious trouble, and there is a chance he'll be fired as head of WWE.com. <laughs> <laughs> Our respect on that job is not in jeopardy. That, yeah, so I think he may have gotten fired from WWE.com for that. Wow. Nice. An ass cartoon just derailed this whole company. <laughs> my ass. <laughs> you got my ass sued. <laughs> we got some more here. Stacy Keebler is now doing work on the George Lopez show. Great. Why'd you fucking... You had to include this. This This is vital news. This is legendary news. I couldn't believe that I read this. Doing work on the George Lopez show and we'll be filming a role in a new movie called The Comebacks. Did you watch The Comebacks? I'm going to look it up right now. I actually am not sure what this movie is. We should do that for SGH. Yeah, is she in this movie? Is she starring it or is she just like... She might just be like a part of it, you know? Yeah, she got bumped. Uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, all, 
Oh, she she plays the all American mom in the comebacks. Let me, let, Rotten Tomato it real quick. Tell it was, me what the well, this movie was directed by Tom Brady. <laughs> okay, uh, it's a 2007 movie. Oh so my that's, god, it's certified oh, fresh. Uh. Oh, this was the one. Uh, this is like a sports parody type movie, I think. I'm this sorry, that was the comeback. Not, yeah, I was going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> this is 9% on the tomato sorry, meter. Sorry, that was the comeback. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sadly, a half Actually, a star for this movie. All I remember is one of those sports comedy. Like, there was a ton of sports parody comedy sure. type movies yeah. on it. It's got that one dude from, uh, he's in like a ton of shit. He's in The Office. Yeah, he's in a bunch uh, it's, of other uh, stuff. Uh, what's his fucking name? David Koshner? Yeah, yeah, he's in like a ton yeah. of stuff. Yeah. Oh, you know what? This movie was inspired by Dodgeball. That's uh, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. From the so producers Dodgeball of Wedding good. Crashers. Maybe we uh maybe we skip that one. Maybe we don't see this yeah, one. Yeah, maybe. We can watch George Lopez though. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, we have something from ROH. Brian well, Danielson is still hurting bad and is going to try to finish the rest of the year out. It's mm. largely assumed that he's going to drop the title to Homicide in December if he can make it that long. There is concern that he's doing serious damage by not getting his shoulder worked on. He's severely <laughs> separated about a month back, but he refuses to take off time at this point. Interesting. <laughs> 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 Brian Danielson has talked openly of retiring from wrestling and going into the Peace Corps, so oh I guess there is at least the possibility the that his mindset <laughs> is to finish off his reign this year and then take a long, long, long time off from wrestling. Oh my god. Yeah. You'll never see that Brian Danielson guy again ever in 2006. That, so he does Whoa. end up dropping about the homicide in December, and that match is fucking great. But uh, and then I my first live ROH show actually is two months after that, where Homicide drops about to Morishima in uh, in Philly. That's pretty sweet. Whoa. Yeah, that's actually incredibly sweet. Yeah, it's awesome. He said, "So TNA got their two hours here this week, and was it a better paced show? Hell no." Instead of packing two hours of programming into one hour like they normally do, they pack no less than four hours of programming into <laughs> two hours. Oh, no. Also, Dixie Carter and reps from Spike, Midway Games, and Marvel were all sitting front row at the Genesis 2006 pay-per-view. Wow. And apparently they sold out so hard that about 100 fans were turned away at the door. Wow. Whoa, okay. Alvarez says also that there is a new product being taped called Wrestling Society X. They take 10 TV shows this past week, and, and he says it. that he got mixed <laughs> reviews. Uh, some people said at the show that they could, they'd never see this taken off, and others said it was a great time. Sean Waltman was said to be loaded for much of the weekend. Uh, <laughs> and according to multiple sources... And he sources, wouldn't stop coming out and crotch chopping. <laughs> in jeans. street clothes. Yeah. And according to multiple sources, Vampiro nearly got into it with Sean Waltman, with both him... And Teddy Hart. Oh, wow. Shocking. Those yeah. three. Plug in the Patreon. We watched every episode of Wrestling Society X in our $5 tier, by the way. You can check that out. Watch this, baby. And spoiler, we really enjoyed it. And it's fucking awesome, actually. It's we wish awesome, you would come back. Yeah. yeah. And the last bit of information here, Nickelodeon is adding a show called Whack Wrestling, which what? appears to be a Kaiju Big Battle ripoff. Wait, do you remember that? I don't know what that is. That's why I wrote it Whack down. I wanted to wrestling? see if you guys knew what it was. Was it WACK? No. W A C K wrestling. wrestling. There was a Whack Wrestling Nick's Giving special on here. Yeah, I see. It's got Ned from Ned's Declassified or something. Whack shit. Wrestling Press Conference. Oh, Character Cow bios. Cowabunga, the wrestler. What the hell? The Abominable Snowman. I've never this seen guy's this. a cow. Okay, hold on. We, we need. I don't want to look too much into Just watch this. this. You want to watch yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. I do. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I think there's only one because there's, yeah, there's just this one video. Do you know what the oh, Whack stands wait, what? for? What? <laughs> Well, maybe. Wrestling Association of Championship Crushers. That Okay. Okay, True. sure. I didn't know it was an acronym. Well, now that we finished all of that, let's get into TNA Impact for TNA. November 16th, 2006. TNA. Prime TNA. time, baby. We yeah. are the new face of professional wrestling. There was two intros here. <laughs> they did the regular intro. Wow, a new intro, I think. I guess it was a new intro. Uh, yeah, you know, man, something was up with the uh, audio on my episode. Okay, because I thought... I watched it with Deb, and she was like, is your shit fucked? <laughs> this, yeah, I hear it was double. real fucked up. It was metallic yeah. sounding. Like it, sounded like, it sounded like I was playing uh, it twice, is what it sounded there like. Was, at the very beginning, there was yeah. two, two different commentary audio tracks, but I swear one of them was different than the other one, but I one don't know. One was a different show, it sounded like. Yeah. yeah, like playing over. Yeah, it was like it was, it was like Mike Tanay very faintly saying something uh, from an entirely different thing, and then Mike Tanay very loud. Like I don't know what was going on. I'm assuming yeah. it has something to do with the putting it on the 
on demand or whatever. The I don't think live it was like that, but I think on demand or whatever. I, with, I in my head that's how it aired live, and that was their prime, prime time. time debut. <laughs> yeah. Oh, with how fucked would that be? Oh, oh my god! I, I didn't see it, anything man. in the I didn't see anything in the observer yeah. notes. So I don't think so. It probably it could have been just the rip, but in my head I'll keep with that. Well, Eric Young is leading the way to prime time. <laughs> He's the Pied Piper of TNA. If you ever He's heard. the first face you see. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Whoa. He brings in a crowd with him. They're all holding don't fire Eric signs. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't fire me on the first show. TNA, TNA, Eric Young TNA. jumps on the desk to announce that this is a big time for TNA. I think that we're going to doof, 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 doof. Good <laughs> shots start going off. <laughs> Sniper! <laughs> Sniper! Get down! Everybody get down! <laughs> Starts running away to the back. <laughs> it's just LAX. Dude, this, it, was, so it was LAX's entrance. Dude, this show intro... So like pyro confetti 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 everywhere every like every the most amount of confetti I think I've ever seen ever in wrestling ever and maybe the most pyro I've seen TNA do ever before too it was insane it was super sweet wow I was it was awesome but yeah the Eric Young sniper he actually goes back to it later he runs away yeah so we get the LAX Town Hall LAX are the new tag champions or I believe they are the tag champions sure. Uh, Conan says that America has left them behind and hasn't improved things like immigration practices, uh, which I guess, you know, 14 years later is probably still true. <laughs> 15, yeah. Talk. Conan says he's going to burn the U.S. flag here right here tonight. Woo! Oh. AMW <laughs> hits. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not going to stop you from wooing. <laughs> AMW then hits the ring to stop him. Uh, and then Gail Kim returns. I believe yes. she's been gone since the border toss. This was right after the border toss and then right after uh, they beat up James Storm last week, so that's how that Okay, out. yeah. Tony, I was going to ask you if you if you could uh, say Conan's catchphrase for us. Adelaide, arriba la raza, you green girls, <laughs> yes. I'm going to burn the flag, my <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, like, that's pretty great. That's pretty great. sounds just like Odin, actually. <laughs> so Gail Kim comes back. She hits a run off the top. Thomas, uh, I look good. Yeah, the border toss from Hernandez was legendary. We, we Dude, actually have done that uh, episode, too. Yo, yeah, that was like, the most insane border toss ever. It's like, he... He didn't have to do that to her. <laughs> it's actually funny because I remember that so much from uh, back in the day. And in my mind, it's like, you know, 140p interlaced yeah, garbage. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we watched it back. And I'm like, wow, was this this was actually high def at one point, I guess. Yeah. Like, that was the clearest crazy. I ever saw it when we reviewed it. So if you guys haven't watched yeah. the episode, you should definitely check it out. It's a legendary moment in wrestling. Yeah. She goes to Ronda Hernandez. Uh, Hernandez says, fuck that. I'm a border to toss you. Chris Harris makes the save and Storm super kicks Hernandez and LAX bail. But they're going to burn that flag. They promise you they're burning the fucking flag. Fuck your know? flag. We get a pre tape. We actually get a few of these tonight. That I believe are just to explain to people who might be turn, tuning in for the first time. I feel sure. like they did this on. Uh, we watched another TNA where they. I feel like they did, did this. All the, they when, did when for they Sabu. Moved, when they moved to Spike TV, remember that yeah. episode? They did the same thing where they had like these hype videos for to get to know some of the talent. Which There's I think actually is a cool. really really good one later for the X Division. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely not against these. Samoa Joe is undefeated. He's going to continue his path of destrucity. It's ground and pound specialist. This full <laughs> line here. <laughs> Retribution will be paid in full. Joe is going to kill you. Yes, I fucking hate wrestling anywhere else and but here. There was a sweet line. <laughs> Don't bring people, any, anybody, <laughs> if anyone comes to this company, I'm leaving. I'm fucking leaving this shit. So I don't know if you guys heard this, but uh, like <laughs> Joe was like, <laughs> if my body had like the double feet or whatever, I was getting like some feedback here. Joe was yeah. going to relinquish the title because he was injured or something. I don't know. It was really weird. <laughs> Is that what he said? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was really weird. I don't know Thank you, on. Dixie. Appreciate that. So we get Samoa Joe versus Jay Lethal in a one-on-one -on -one yeah. match. Did Joe train Jay Lethal? Or did I make that up? I have not heard that, but okay. Um, I thought maybe. that, I th or maybe he was just like it. Maybe, maybe it was he was his protege in ROH, and that's what I was thinking. Maybe, of. yeah, yeah. You know that. I mean, I'm sure he. I'm sure he that's did. Right. Train he was with trained him. by Mikey Whipwreck. I'm pretty sure. Actually, never mind. Yeah. I mean, oh, but okay. I mean, I'm sure they trained together sure. at some yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so Samoa Joe is 17 months undefeated. 17 months is a goddamn long time, and Dude, that's here crazy. To take it. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> So Joe's going to face Kurt Angle at Genesis 2006. Mm, and that's their first match together, right? Uh, Yes, I believe yeah. so. And he loses. Because on, on this, yes, he, Joe does lose to Kurt. Uh, interesting, man. I mean, looking back on it, maybe not immediately do that is probably a better way to go. I, at the time, I was like, wow, this is fucking sick. And then when Joe lost, I remember thinking, oh, huh. <laughs> that's interesting. But you can't I, beat Kurt right away either. Yeah, you no, can't. Absolutely. You can't. They you know what's themselves yeah. you know crazy? Corner. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking about that, Tony, it's crazy because they book they have Russo booking the show. I'm surprised yeah. he didn't just, you know, just fuck this whole finish up. 
You know, oh my god! Had, they just had him beat him. I was yeah, like, okay, yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. You know what's crazy is that I think this Genesis did like sixty thousand buys, and I wow. think to this day is the highest bought TNA pay per view ever. Oh really? Uh, really? Which is crazy because AEW just did uh, All Out, and that did two hundred thousand yeah. plus. Isn't that <laughs> fucking crazy, man? That's so so. T- TNA's buy rates at the time, uh, around this time, two thousand six, averaged around thirty thousand to forty thousand. And like TNA or er, uh, AEW is just so far past that; it's insane. It's so like, weird. It's crazy. And it, it's, it's so weird because you look insane, at TNA's roster actually. and they had they had it, man. They had it. I mean, it's actually crazy to look at the buy rates going forward. Um, once you hit like 2012, they were getting like 7,000 buys. That's wow. on shows. That's unbelievable, man. Um, Destination X. Wow. I'm just looking at buy rates now. Yeah. Um, 2011 Destination X had 40,000 buys. Um, Fuck. Destination X 2012 did 9,000. Oh my God. What the hell? Now these wow. numbers could be chalked. They could but, be skewed. Yeah, sure. But, but I mean... That's insane to read. That actually. is actually insane. Yeah, that's I, fucking crazy. Especially because I, I would probably, I would probably put Destination X twenty twelve up there with the that's, best shows they ever did. Is that the Aries Rude one? Yeah, yeah, that's an unbelievable show. And Rubik's. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the show that has Styles and Daniels and uh, like uh, Last oh, Man, was game? Last Man uh, Standing. Yeah, 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 yeah. and that was fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the one. The Styles clash off the uh, ramp. Yeah, Whoa, yeah, God. yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that show was yeah. sweet. What the fuck? Yeah, hopefully they're chalked. I hope that pay review did a million buys because it was worth it. Yeah, I actually I, uh, bought that on DVD. <laughs> I mean, it's fucking awesome. I, yeah, I can't. It was fantastic. Yeah, I don't. Show. I don't see anything anywhere else. But maybe yeah. So Samoa Joe versus Jay Lethal here. Uh, Jay Lethal only twenty one years old in this match. Fucking wow, it's crazy. I think he's. They said he's the youngest guy in the company. Actually, I believe yeah. it. Yeah. We want angle chants are so loud in this one, it's insane. Yeah, they're they're ready to go. Fuck this. So Joe hits the muscle buster, Coquina Clutch. He beats Lethal pretty quick here. He just hits all the classics, really. Just all the yeah. classic Joe's. His like Larry is just so good, man. God, yeah, yeah. I, I always pop for the fucking chop to the back, kick to the chest, uh either knee or senton. Yeah, you the know knee, what I mean? that whole combo. Yeah, yeah I love that. That's Dude, sweet. this guy's it's we we talked about it a little bit before. He deserved he his last what, eight years or so? Yeah, he deserved more than the, he, Hell he got yeah. Him, but this guy, this was like for, for us, and at this time, this was the guy. Like this was, he was the to guy. me, he was the best. I mean, listen, I, I love me some Brian Danielson, but Joe was my guy, and fucking that, like he was the best in the he world. Was the, to me. Probably the most protected indie wrestler. Sure. Period. And yeah, I had the two year true. ROH run, then the two yeah. year TNA run. Right. Just didn't lose. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's like that's. Insane. But it was but it was completely believable too because he was that good. Yeah. I mean, every match he had, like, whenever he needed to double to the plate, he fucking did it, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Joe keeps the Coquina Clutch locked in, and then oh, Sanjay, no. Sabin, and <laughs> Jerry Word. <Schwag. laughs> <Schwag. laughs> you sure that was Sanjay? I think Tony's honest. I think that was Schwag. Schwag. Deep, right? He's dressed. Oh, he didn't have the hat. He didn't have the hat on. You're right. You guys, you guys know there's only one way to make a save, as Schwag D does. Oh, my God, dude. dude what was I... this, Tony? <laughs> I laughed out loud at this. <laughs> he doesn't do? break it up, but he runs it as a fucking running shooting star press. <laughs> <laughs> Joe is choking the life out of Jay Lethal. Sanjay <laughs> slides in the ring with his fucking hat on and button down, bases, and does a standing shooting star. <laughs> I wish that, I wish he didn't break it up. I wish he just kept it there. Yeah, what the yeah. fuck? He just, he just kept like doing it over and over. He yeah. just kept doing shooting stars. He's just not breaking it up. What the fuck? Uh, Jerry Lynn comes in and kicks him. Uh, <laughs> Jerry Lynn comes in cradle pile drive Sanjay. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Stop. Dude. I just Speaking can't stop doing shooting star presses. <laughs> I could have. I laughed out loud at that. I could have believed it. Uh, Me, dude, it was unbelievable. He comes in with the hat. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Shooting star press. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was very X Division, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Jerry Lynn is on the stage with Chris Sabin telling him to go save Sanjay as uh, as Joe fucking puts this choke in on him, too. <laughs> uh, Sabin rushes uh, to the apron and says, ah, never mind. Fuck that. And uh, I guess because I think him and Sabin, Sanjay and Sabin were like teamed for a minute here. Yeah, they were former crazy, team or whatever. Crazy yeah. pairing. Yeah. Joe gets on the mic and says, Angle, these people want it, and I want it, and I want your blood. Oh, shit. 
He actually gets it later. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Accidentally. Or, no, no, I guess it was on purpose. I looked. I don't know what caught him later, though. We'll get there. Yeah, there's a lot. Well, I guess I guess because last time they interacted with each other, the Joe butt. bled. Yeah. So yeah. He's like, he's going to get his gimmick. Sure, I'm going to get mine. Backstage segment, Christy Hemi finds LAX in the parking lot. I said, we're still going to burn this flag. I swear to God. I'm going to burn this shit. Hey, what are you doing? I'm burning the flag. <laughs> all of a sudden, Pete Williams comes up. Yeah, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> I don't know if, I actually don't know if they just went with it because Conan's so good on the mic. I don't know if Petey Williams just showed up and then Conan was like, yeah, we invited this guy. <laughs> yeah, Conan says, I invited him. <laughs> he says, Yo. hey, Petey, you want to you help us burn his flag? He daps him up. He says, yeah. Hell yeah, we're going to get out of here. You already know. That's what Petey said. Dude, like, follow us if you want to scoop. Dude, Christy Hemi follows them the whole way to the <laughs> burning the flag thing. What's she going to do about this? <laughs> Call police. Backstage segment, Paparazzi Productions. Yeah. Alex Shelley and Austin Starr, two mm, R's, are yes. pissing at the urinals. Together. Deadlock Austin style. Stars. <laughs> nah, there is a little wall in between them. It's not oh, that yeah, you're right. Sorry. Austin Star says that Alex <laughs> Shelley cost them a match recently, and Alex Shelley says, "Let's get Kevin to settle this." Mm. Kevin Nash is looking over the stall. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, I, I think they say, "I think they say, let's shake on it first, and then like shaking hands." Yes. And they shake Nash their over. Uh, Alex Shelley asks Kevin if he is. Taking the Browns to the Super Bowl. <laughs> that is such a 2006 joke. I was like, oh my God. Uh, Kevin Nash says he is the greatest wrestler of all time, but he's also, he disappears, you don't see him for a second, and then he pops back up with a powder wig on. <laughs> a Harvard Law Grand. Austin Starr <laughs> says Alex Shelley cost him his match last week. Overruled. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Alex Shelley goes, oh, Jason, overruled. Huh? <laughs> Kevin says that someone will be found guilty tonight, and someone will be found innocent. And then Lincoln Park starts playing. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> was this the Genesis 2006? No, I uh, think so. It, yeah, it is. Was I think it? it is. Okay. I think Why so, did they yeah. play that, though? Because they didn't go I to swear we watched a show with this before, because we mentioned, I swear we mentioned the numb MP3. Wasn't that we a paparazzi have. production thing or not? Was that their theme? They definitely used that Lincoln Park cover for another <laughs> show. Yeah, something else. <laughs> yeah, because I remember numb. we were looking yeah, at the yeah. match cards. It's just playing numb MP3. It was they used it for Bound for Glory <laughs> 06, right? Okay, that's what they yeah. used it for. So maybe okay. they just used it all year. <laughs> yeah, it kind of kicks ass. So sure. <laughs> it was the 06 anthem. We get a backstage segment: Team 3D with Jeremy Borash backstage. Jamie. <laughs> Devon gold chain titties out. Brother Ray death taxes. Tables shirt. <laughs> okay. What do you think of this Devon look? <laughs> it's fucking awesome. This is what I always think when I think of Devon. I always think of the titties out. Okay, okay, Devon too. is definitely I, all I titties. Agree. Yeah. That's the. That's what I always think about. Did he pull his titties out in WWE at all? Oh wow, I'm not sure. Or ECW. I think that's a strictly TNA, TNA thing. That was a yeah. good TNA. Yeah. yeah, it's weird. He actually puts the straps back on during the match. <laughs> yeah. That's his power up. <laughs> his opposite of angles. <laughs> So Bubba puts over the Naturals as he sure. says they finally did something that matters in this business. They stood up to Team 3D and beat their ass. True. Uh, the Naturals apparently put Bubba through a table and they laid out Devon. Yeah, they. Uh, I think uh, like they whipped him through a table that was like standing up in the corner last week. Oh, okay. Bubba says the last thing they're going to hear tonight is Devon get the tables. Oh, no. no. I think they probably hear the ring bell and then the winner is, but whatever. Nope. The Naturals <laughs> versus Team 3D. They fall it's asleep. The tables match. <laughs> Then, so, yeah, well, hold on now. Not just the naturals, the newly franchised <laughs> <yeah>. naturals. <laughs> they even say it on commentary. They say yeah. newly franchised That's, naturals. They, Did he franchise new- anyone else but the naturals? No, <laughs> <laughs> but he, the did, he, got- did, he did say he was going to franchise a lot of people. But yes. he never actually franchised See, I, their I, ass. All along, I thought being franchised was a bad thing, because he always said, I'm a franchise your ass. Turns out, he just becomes your manager. <laughs> we actually have to get the numbers on that. We need to see yeah. the ratio of asses franchised to asses not franchised. <laughs> I don't think I he mean, actually went through with most of the franchise. You actually want to be it's franchised, because the Naturals did pretty good here for themselves. So I say Shit. franchise is a good thing. They put the Naturals over huge here, actually. It's actually insane. They say that Team 3D has not been defeated in a tables match. Do you guys know if that's true? Ever in their entire career before this point? I don't know. I mean, I feel like that'd be a TNA thing to make up, but I feel like the Dudleys kind of protected their shit for a while for the same thing like when they said, uh, like, the Dudleys never got hit with a 3D or 
no one's kicked out of the 3D. That's right. what it was. And that was like yeah. the big well, angle with the Motor City machine they, guns, right? I, th I think the way they phrased it was, uh, I talked to Brother Ray and he told me that they have never been beaten before this in a tables match. So, yeah, you know, but it I could think, be one of those I, things where they say it that way. I think the machine guns things wasn't even right either. I think... I think Masato Tanaka may have kicked out of it or something in ECW. So uh, I don't, what a I don't know how much. Badass, yeah. <laughs> so I'm not sure. Team 3D has not won the NWA tag titles yet. One of the only tag belts they've never won. Yeah. Uh, so that's kind of the angle here. The Naturals, on the other hand, recently franchised. They're looking to break Newly. out. And I'll, be, I'll be honest with you. I, I didn't expect Team 3D to put them over like this. And they no. Did, so. This was no. like okay. when. So I uh, just fast forwarding the end here. The Naturals fucking put. The Dudley, they hit the 3D on Brother Ray and then put Devon through a table with a double spine buster and just win clean. That's it. I was like, I'm, I was like, wow. I, well, I, it's because it, of it, the franchise. The franchise saved their sure. ass. But I was like, this is like, not that it's not TNA to do this, but I was like, that's like, what a rub that is. Yeah. Yeah. That's huge. I mean, I like the naturals. I didn't know they were like slotted no. as like the next big team which is crazy. Well, I, I feel like for a while they were trying to like say hey we need mm -hmm. we need you to we need new amw we need you know yeah, new, <laughs> I I we that, that before yeah. on the show yeah. that they were going to be the new amw yeah right but it obviously doesn't get there but they they fucking tried they fucking whooped the dudley's ass on tv here yeah, yeah this is huge for them yeah. I actually don't know if Team 3D how long they were out recently. They mentioned that they hadn't been here. Maybe they were in New Japan or something. Yeah, maybe. They said they were, they were out for the summer or something. And they, they got buried on commentary. Or... Fuck them. Why are they no, not the here? No, Nasty Boys aren't here yet. Piece of shit. Nasty Boys aren't here yet. <laughs> Where you at, fat boy? <laughs> Nasty Boys, not big fans of Japan. They're doing favors for TNA. Fuck the Dudley Boys. <laughs> so... The match starts, they brawl out to the crowd, uh, they head back inside to get to table. The Dudley special brawling in the crowd. Team yeah, 3D it special. really is. Every, every, I think of like every 06, uh, the whole Team 3D run, the early one, was all, every match they brawled in the crowd. Oh, yeah, yeah and then, right. And Bubba yeah. looked towards the, he looked, there's like a very specific Bubba thing. He'd yeah, walk up the stairs, exactly. look back, do the Team 3D yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's the same thing. They just did it every time. If people loved someone, it, they went crazy Someone definitely it. got hit in the head with a soda can. Like, it was always... Oh, no, yeah, just yeah. destroyed. <laughs> yeah. I always hated when Bubba counted for the Get the Tables thing. Me too. Can't I never it. liked that. Yeah. And he did it for the rest yeah. of his career. Yeah, you're right. Mm. I mean, he didn't need to. Like, the people people know, dude. You don't have to If you're shouting them. after he says Devon, what else do you think he's saying? Yeah, right? like, You know what I mean? Why well, yeah, you gotta count down for it? Yeah. So Team 3D was about to 3D Andy Douglas through a table, but then Shane Douglas, the franchise. I'm gonna franchise this table. He pushed him away, and then Shane Douglas got put through a table. Yeah. Owned. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> 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 well, the Naturals then hit up with a 3D, uh, and I wrote down here, surprised at how much they're giving the Naturals. Little did I know, uh, they put Devon through a table and just fucking win. <laughs> yeah, Whoa. I was like, okay, they hit the 3D, that's, that's all they're getting here, and then they win. I was like, oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what they do afterwards. Lose. It'd be funny if at Genesis they just lost whatever they were doing. I, I don't think they beat the fucking Dudleys at the paper. There's no way. Uh, That's probably they're just giving them a match before the pay per view. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. oh, they wait. What? Yeah, I just read that too. The Naturals beat Sanjay and Jay Lethal. <laughs> With Jay Lynch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did they write the Dudleys off there? Maybe. Maybe they took some more time off. Oh, maybe. That's. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they didn't There's, beat him clean. Shane Douglas interfered. Of course he did. Um, They're three time NWA World Tag Team Champions. I they are. Know that. Yeah. Natural. Wow. De -ne 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 -ne. Moving on, pre tape, we have Abyss, his little uh, biography <laughs> here. <laughs> yeah. I killed says, everybody. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much exactly what it says. The ring is Abyss's personal slaughterhouse. His thirst for blood cannot be quenched. He actually killed a man. Uh, <laughs> and my dad, maybe. I don't know. Maybe, actually, yeah. And mom, but we. <laughs> my mom may have killed me, too. I don't, we know. don't really know. <laughs> yeah, I might be dead. <laughs> Only James Mitchell has been able to control Abyss. And then uh, we move on to the Eric Young Town Hall. Mike today thanks Spike TV, the fans, Dixie, Tommy. You know, thank you, Tommy. To <laughs> this was. I, oh I my just, god! I, I know what you're talking. I think I know what you're talking about already. I, Fuck. I got so I got so confused here. This was fucked. Because I remember them, but I was like, what the fuck? I was like, oh, oh no, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Eric Young says, I have something important to tell you guys before I was rudely interrupted. I think he says the, the gunshots are gone or something. What do you say? The sniper's gone like or that. something? Yeah, yeah, the sniper's gone. Yeah. <laughs> Compromise with permanent end. The yeah. sniper. <laughs> and then he gets interrupted by goth 
the goth kids from South Park. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, goth. you're right. That's exactly what this group was. It is South Park goths. You're right. Did they, goth- wait, did they? Uh, real quick, did they? Did the South Park episode air before this? Oh wow, I don't know. It feels like it's the same time though. Yeah. Uh, I like to think that Raven watched an episode of South Park and said, "Let's oh, the, do this." The goth kids episode uh, was in 2003, I think. Oh, oh so it was God. way before this thing. Wow. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's. Oh my fucked. god, this might right. actually just be inspired from the gossip. <laughs> <itself. laughs> I saw them and I thought that exact thing. Oh, my <laughs> so it's goth Frankie Kazarian, goth Michael Shane, and goth Johnny Divine. Well, not uh, Michael Shane, Maverick Matt. So. Maverick Matt. Oh no! What was the I reason? Forgot. His other name was like someone like Sudom or something. It wasn't cool enough. I, yeah, what the fuck? Maverick Matt? <laughs> well, he's Matt Bentley, and now he's Maverick Matt. Yeah, and then, I think, I, was Johnny Divine just Divine? Yeah, he was. Well, he was Johnny Divine in Team Canada, okay. right? Yeah, he yes, was. Yes, but I'm saying here, yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> this, of course, leads to them being, uh, this is Raven's group. It's not revealed here, but it's Raven's group, which this is eventually is so- named serotonin how long does this last fuck <laughs> it's gotta long. be less than a year yeah it's gotta yeah, be pretty quick i don't yeah well I don't think guys long. you are looking at the genesis <laughs> oh no not the genesis of the new movement <laughs> in tna oh their names change again after this why is there always a new movement in tna <laughs> it's <laughs> a bowel movement pretty much <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta run uh, for f4w's newsletter <laughs> yeah, fuck on, tna i hate it i hate it so f- on the march 8th 2007 episode it was announced that raven had changed their names renaming kazarian to kaz <laughs> maverick matt to martyr and johnny divine <laughs> to havoc with a k oh, I, I knew it was with a k i knew it was with a k <laughs> there's no other way to spell it there's no other way to spell it and then uh, they are eventually disbanded in. They don't even DDT all of them and say, go to hell and you die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're like later that year, like maybe like four months after that. <laughs> wow. That's. Yeah. Because Arian cut this promo was. Uh, we are who we are. That's exactly <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> our great redeemer has opened our eyes. <laughs> he has taught us through his wisdom that it isn't about winning and losing, but it is about sacrifice. Uh-huh. The new movement in TNA has begun. <laughs> and then it gets even worse. Help me there, my dun 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 dun. <laughs> no pop, no reaction. Nobody so, knows what the hell's going on. Yeah, so ex- can you explain to me real quick why this is in the intro of the song again? It's it is a uh, nine one one operator. Oh no, it's uh, the person nine one one operator, and it's another woman on the other end saying, "Help me, they're in my dun dun dun." Yeah, but why? <laughs> it's the, the new Blue age kid. outlaws. <laughs> they're the faces <laughs> too. <laughs> they're in my house. <laughs> it's, it's road dog and, and Billy red, Gun. red hair S-A Billy Re- Gunn. S A Rios. <laughs> Dude, not only that, so this fucking hits, and they they come out of two holes in the wall. <laughs> that's a new entrance. 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 Oh, you didn't know? Didn't no, know we offer it. What's your emergency? Welcome to the dog house. <laughs> These two fucking guys won't stop getting rowdy. What the fuck? Help me! They're in my doghouse! <laughs> <laughs> Help me! They keep kicking that shit in doggy style! <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh dun, my god. Dun, dun. Oh, 911 operator, how can I help you? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> 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 It was actually Christy Hemi trying to call the cops because they're trying to put a flag. <laughs> Dude, all right. So, what was this? What brand like, new what? entrance, James? <laughs> the fuck? That's their entrance. <laughs> They come out of two holes in the wall. What the fuck? <laughs> Holding chairs. <laughs> what the chairs on, for? Custom chairs. Uh, all right, Help so me this is. my walls. <laughs> so Voodoo Kim Mafia is here. That's uh, Kip James and BG James. The James BK- Gang. They had VKM. quit two weeks ago. The James yes. Gang quit two weeks ago. 
Yeah, they quit. <laughs> this is the Cody. They got the Cody entrance, actually. Is what they got was. double Cody entrance. <laughs> That's and awesome. They Billy had Gunness. to put the chairs in front of them and like squeeze in to fit. get up this square. Yeah. I wonder if it actually came over the ground or if like everyone in the arena saw them like get in before the second That's, start, like run in. Just, is it Ascension style where they have to awkwardly like wait there? It's crouched. gotta be. It's <laughs> gotta so be. Too. I think so too. Oh There's no way God. they had walls come down no there. No way. <laughs> They're just standing in holes. <laughs> Help me, they're standing in the entranceway! <laughs> dun, 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 dun. They're standing in holes like Candyman? Uh, there's no holes in it. <laughs> they're in the wall like Candyman. Billy Gunn with <sighs> super red hair here Look, with a he backwards like bandana. A fucking S.A. Rios, like a broke-ass S.A. Rios. <laughs> broke-ass S.A. Rios. <laughs> Do a flip. What's uh, going on here, man? So VKM were released or something two weeks ago, and now they're back. Uh, why? BG James says... The only reason they came back to TNA is because, well, they have a little thing called creative control. What we, says, call, what we call in the business creative control. BJ James starts it off by saying, we're back. And then he looks at the crowd and says, oh, you damn right. <laughs> <laughs> what wow. the fuck is this whole segment? So they're back. They have creative control, which means they have the ability and permission to do whatever they damn well please. Who who, who, who gave them that? <laughs> what kind of contract is this? And how do I get that contract? <laughs> <laughs> and now they come out of the walls. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new entrance. <laughs> that was the creative control. Road Dog says, I want to come out of the walls. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> Dixie. Okay, okay. That's exactly. What happened. Okay. <laughs> what? Go back in your walls, what? idiot. Dude, <laughs> so, so maybe you can shine some light on this. Uh, was there like legit heat, dear? Yes. Or, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. So I'm remember because in my head, I remember listening to a shoot where there was legit heat. They're in a hotel um, room, right? That's the exact fucking shoot. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. the exact fucking shoot. And they just um, bury both Triple H and Shawn Michaels for everything ever. I don't know why. I don't really yeah. remember. Um, so this was fucking just... I mean, I don't even know what to say about this segment. So BG James says that they have creative <laughs> control. Uh, they say that the Voodoo Kin Mafia is declaring war on Paul Levesque. On Michael you, Paul Levesque. <laughs> Hickenbottom. <laughs> Hickenbottom. <laughs> <laughs> and Vincent K. McMahon. And uh, he says, he says, most importantly, we're declaring war on you, Vincent K. McMahon. And Don West in the back says, unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we know him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, we know him. Kim Jameson grabs the mic and calls Triple H, Triple Hollywood. And what do you call Sean? Sean, kiss Sean, my bottom. Sean, kiss my bottom. Kiss my bottom. Okay. That's pretty okay. good. They yeah, got good creative job. control, so he came out here and called him Triple Hollywood and Sean Kiss My Bottom. <laughs> Kim, <Help>. then, <laughs> Kim then says... That's actually Dixie on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Help me, they're in my office! <laughs> <laughs> they won't get out! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna kill this company doggy style. <laughs> Fuck. You damn right. <laughs> so Kim Jace uh, proceeds to call them the biggest pieces of shit. Uh, <laughs> but BG Jace was supposed to grab the mic, but he just said shit anyway. So fuck it, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Uh, BG James says uh, the VKM will go to VKM by land, sea, <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> just whatever. We're bringing war to your front door. Help me there. <laughs> they're, gonna kill, they're gonna kill the WWE is what they're Kip saying. Kip James says they brought back DX and it's sinking faster than that Titanic because we're good and they are not. <laughs> they go on a whole tirade about how DX was shit without them. I'm gonna yeah. let you try that one more time. This version of DX actually made WWE a lot of fucking money at the time. Yeah. So. <laughs> There's a big <sighs> DX sucks shit too. Yeah, there is. There, there actually is. It just yeah, this whole thing just comes off as they're salty. They weren't invited to the DX reunion party. It's, it's the really lame. Fucking. It's actually super lame. It gets 2006 worse, me though would have fucking loved it. I feel like I loved. I probably thought it was then. hilarious. Oh, yeah. yeah, like the context. You're right, Tony. The context now compared to 2006 is so yeah. different. Looking back, it's so lame. But back then, I was like, this is fucking awesome. They called me. Yeah, you're just right. Michael Hickenbottom. Michael Hickenbottom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Triple Hollywood. Fuck you. Yeah. We hate you, Triple H. Yeah. <laughs> At the end, he says VKM versus VKM. And then yeah. I feel like Tanae was going nuts. Oh, VKM. Yeah. We know him. We know him. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they went back to the ram that stood in the door. That'd be Dad. awesome. <laughs>
It doesn't go anywhere. They stay there the rest of the show. <laughs> That's creative control, pal. That's how I want to watch the show. Uh, we have a pre-tape. The Grim Reaper says he's been watching TNA. <laughs> <laughs> and this company is going to die. Six Sides of Steel was created by the Grim Reaper. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually created by Edge. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry, bitch. So that's pretty cool. They're, they're doing the Six Sides of Steel tonight with the barbed wire on top. Yes. Yes. Cool. First time cool. they've ever done it, actually. Interesting. Uh, um, backstage segment, Paparazzi Productions. Uh, Kevin Nash says that he will return from his chamber soon with a verdict. <laughs> court is in recess. He, he actually has a sign on the bathroom stall. I think court is in recess. <laughs> and then he goes in the bathroom and goes... <laughs> <laughs> before, uh, the first thing I thought it was you, James. You're like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm, mm. Shitting. He spits a big loogie <sighs> on the floor. <laughs> just well. make dad noises in the bathroom stall. <laughs> So we get a backstage segment. Rhino is backstage with Jeremy Borash. JB, Jeremy Borash here. JB. Like Rhino. Rhino has a straight jacket with him and a key to the cage door. Why? Was this from the pole thing, Tony? I think, yes. Yeah. I, I imagine so, that's what it was, So right? last week they had a four corners pole match where, <laughs> you, not like usual pole matches. <laughs> Did where, all the corners have a pole? <laughs> Yes. I think so. So <laughs> instead of like you bring it down and you win or whatever, you get to use a match, you get, uh, there's two steel chairs. There is a straight jacket. There is a, a key. key and there is bolt cutters. And whatever you pull down, you get to use inside of this cage. They will hand it to you inside of a fucking steel cage. Does that make any sense to you guys? It, you know, was, it actually makes confused. more sense now. I was going to say it, it was very strange during the match because, I mean, we'll get there, but I was like... I didn't understand what, how what they were going to hand them a happening? fucking steel chair in a cage that is surrounded by steel. Well, they'll simply cut a gigantic a, hole in the door, the Tony. <laughs> <laughs> but it worked, I guess, in the match. It sense. worked out, yeah. So Christian Cage versus Rhino. This feud yeah. actually lasts for quite a bit in TNA. They have actually a lot of good matches. That is a really good feud. Uh, Street we saw the straight time. jacket before, didn't we? On a day yeah. we fight. reviewed, they do that eight okay. mile street fight. That was that a was really before this or match. after this? When I think that? it's I think that's bound for glory, right? Yeah, I think that's bound for glory. Yeah, so that was before this, then, right? Yeah, the, uh, Genesis is the last pay per view of the year. Yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 got it, got it. So Christian Cage versus Rhino, six sides of steel with the barbed wire on top. I actually don't know if they have a different name for this other than the six sides of steel. Barbed wire, six on, sides of steel. Is that, is that just that's what it's called? That's literally what they call it. The okay, bar. Oh, yeah, it, they do say grudge match at the beginning too. Yeah. Okay, because I, you know, how TNA likes to give gimmick names. Sure. And yeah. yeah. Well, Christian comes out with the gold and black ring jacket. That's awesome. Hell yeah! This is like one of his coolest jackets. It it's is. fucking awesome. Yeah. He looks like a star. Like he, he just does. looks like he, he. You know, it's crazy. It's like on this show. He looks kind of out of place at how much he looks like a just a yeah. huge star. How much, <laughs> yeah, how much more effort he's putting real. in than everyone else. Yeah, yeah it's pretty crazy. <laughs> Rhino comes out with the deadlock D on his back, shouts out. And he of had course the orange the, and everything. Yeah, and of course the spider web. Yeah, fucker. <laughs> this is a goddamn spider web. I don't understand the spider web. got these web. Rhino, dude. And Rhino came out with a little piece of TNA wood. I put a question mark and then I figured out it was the key. <laughs> yeah, they taped it to the wood or something. I don't yeah. know. I guess because okay. they had to put it on the pole and it... Sure. <laughs> sure. Whatever. Um, so Don West says that Christian Cage has given Rhino an unbelievable amount of concussions. And Don, <laughs> that's a direct quote. Don West says Christian Cage has given Rhino an unbelievable amount of concussions. And doctors have not cleared him to wrestle tonight, but he is anyway. <laughs> but nice. we said okay. <laughs> Rhino called us and I have a concussion. I said it was okay. It was okay. He's gone. So, refer so it's funny that you mentioned the uh, pole match, Tony, because I wrote down that referee Andrew Thomas randomly goes to hand a chair to Christian Cage, but not to Rhino. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Christian you calls to her to get the chairs. Rhino bumps him. Rhino goes for the chairs, and they say, no. <laughs> no, not your chair. <laughs> no, get out you of there. You have that. to call for it. You have to call the referee over to give you whatever you want. This would have been a works. perfect video game like match. I was going to say, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that would have worked. That really. actually seems pretty sweet. You could sweet. change the weapons on a little weapon wheel. What if it was yeah, random? Yeah, yeah. Like, you call the ref and they randomly and throws give in you the something. Weapon. Okay, we I might have just, wow, might tripped onto something. Straight here. jacket. So, Rhino has the key to the cage door. Um, but then he decides, I'm not going to use it. So he throws it over the cage so no one can use it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> so he won that in the full just... match for no reason. <laughs> yeah. He, he was, was throwing cool... Chris around like a motherfucker, by the way. Where's San Tony? Oh, there was a cool spot at the beginning where Christian's like trying to get out really fast, but then he like pricks his finger on the barbed wire and he like sticks in his mouth. He's like, oh, that hurt. Even Good story. before I knew, I didn't know that there was wire cutters involved in that match, Tony. But even mm -hmm. before I knew, because they always do it. They always fucking have wire cutters in DNA for this fucking match. They always every, do. Every yeah. damn time. 
So come back from commercial break. Christian's bleeding. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they missed a whole bunch of shit during the commercial. Yeah, what the fuck? Barbed wire's cut. Yeah, we missed a ton here. Christian's Barbed wire's bleeding. cut at the top. He's bleeding. Wire cut yeah, wire cutters in his hand, <laughs> cutting the wire and escaping. What? <laughs> Thankfully, the tapes were running, so it showed a little replay of everything yes. that was going on. That was nice. Um, but I really would have liked to see Christian get busted open. That would have been cool. Rhino rubs Christian's face into the barbed wire and uh. then the cage. And then release backdrop drivers him off the top rope, hanging was, onto the cage. That Whoa. was fucking awesome. Yeah. like They were bumping like crazy. Christian flip bumps off it, right? That, yeah. The release yeah. fucking flips him. Yeah. It's he was out of control. Christian is gooshing blood here, too. The crowd is moshing after that move. They're, lo they're like, love, love this match is They're so this, good. This match is awesome, by the way. Like, yeah, I would actually rules. recommend seeing this. Christian then goes to hit the unprettier off the top rope to Rhino. He hits it. We were just talking about that with Kenny. He almost yeah, did that's it. Right. He almost did yeah. it there. We're like, no yeah. fucking way. Yeah, right. dude. If we were there, when he, that would have been fucking Even crazier. Nuts. He's like a one-winged, though, which is, I, I'd take that yeah, better. That's, <laughs> that's oh, yeah, crazy. yeah, I'm pretty off the top. I, I wrote, this match is sweet. <laughs> They're kicking ass. fucking awesome in all caps. Yeah. <laughs> this is sweet. So Christian puts a straight jacket on Rhino and then ties the arms to the rope so Rhino uh -huh. can't move. Time for concussions. You. Christian goes to hit him with a chair, but then Rhino time. just... Kicks him in the nuts and gets yeah, free. Fucking, <laughs> here's your balls, bitch. Yeah. Just so they know, uh, Christian was going to leave here. He changed his mind and then called for the chairs. And referee Andrew Thomas handed him two chairs through a gigantic hole in the cage. Very politely. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. referee Andrew Christian, Thomas. There you, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> they pulled a woman out of the cage hole one time. So, you know, it's a big That's hole. True. Oh, my God. The Sam Shaw thing. Sam You're Shaw. Right. Wow. Yes. They pulled that was a great out of the cage hole. That right. was yeah. pretty awesome, actually. Uh, Christian goes to hit him with a chair. Rhino kicks him in the nuts. Uh, Rhino gets free. He still has the straight jacket on, but he's free from the ropes. Uh, Rhino starts throwing lines in the jacket. Hits a big <laughs> spine buster. Spine buster, really great. good shit. Yeah. yeah. Jacket's off now, so Rhino tries to concerto Christian. Uh, Christian moves, and then Rhino, uh, then he gets hit with a chair from Christian. Yes. Christian then sets up an indie chair spot, which I couldn't even believe. Two chairs set up facing each other, and then Rhino hits the TKO on oh. Christian. Right Ooh. on his sternum on the top of the fucking chair. Ow, it was fucking brutal. He like bounced off of it too. I was like, oof. And the, the finish to this match is awesome, man. I love so this Christian, finish. Christian, I like I like these finishes in general. Yeah. Like I think like these are like some of my favorite cage finishes. Yeah. yeah. So Christian tries to uh Sabu Rhino with the chair by throwing it at him. Rhino catches it. And then decides to sabu Christian with the chair instead. <laughs> <laughs> and then Christian like backs up a little bit towards like the side where the hole was at, where the referee was giving him all the weapons through the hole. And then Rhino gores Christian through the side of the cage. And the door it, like flings open and Christian flies through it. Feet hit the floor. Christian wins. Holy shit. I was like, that wow. was such a good ending. Yeah. I was like, wow, that's awesome. And like, cause Rhino fucking put him through it too. <laughs> like it was not yeah. light. Like Christian took that shit. I was like, wow, that match ruled, man. Really good shit here. That you know, they just had such good chemistry. It probably helped that they were like super good friends in real life. This is a half hour into the show, by the way. Uh, we get a pre-tape here. X Division is good, and X Division is also cool. X Division's sweet. Here's the people doing flips. There's no limits. Here's all the wrestlers. This is awesome. Here's AJ yeah. Styles yelling in slow mo. Ah! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we get a pre-tape. Jim Cornette is in the Louisville Slugger Museum. Yeah. Uh, probably as far as way he can get from Vince Russo. <laughs> I don't want to be anywhere near the building. Please, I'll kill somebody. David Eckstein, the Cardinals MVP, uh, yes. is oh, yeah. here. World Series, yeah. And his favorite wrestlers are Rhino and Kurt Angle. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. <laughs> okay. Uh, Jim Cornette says, can Sting play for the Cardinals? He said, not a chance in hell. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to talk to my GM. But no, yeah. <laughs> get, out get the fuck out of here. <laughs> So we have Chris Saban versus Christopher Daniels versus AJ Styles X Division that's, title match. That's just on TV. Yeah, they just like go for it. So, that's, okay. that's, that, that's just that's how the roster was. That was just a match they did just to have a match on TV. Yeah, they did a lot of uh, X Division triple threats that were always just just great. I feel like they, yeah, especially two thousand. I probably say this era right here, probably until about I don't really know when it changed. Maybe twenty twelve uh, was like the big moves era. Or was like there? yeah. Was there a time in TNA where X Division was just triple threats in that 2012 yes. era? 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I thought so. Yes. That's so weird. They made that's that just the rule. They made it yeah. rules. That I oh, le let legit just unlock that memory. I completely dude, forgot they about that. They changed the rules so many times with the exhibition title. They f yeah. Wow. They did like that a was the Rubik's era, at one right? Point, didn't they? Yeah. The, Ken the, the Kenny King era. Yes. What the hell? Weird. I forgot they about just, that. Because they just refused to understand that all they had to do was sign top indie talent to come wrestle to, just yes. regular matches. Right. Eric Bischoff yeah. just could not. Figure he that couldn't out. wrap his mind around the fact that this division was just the people wanted to see sweet wrestling. This was the moves division. It's not yeah. very difficult. It's to not understand. hard at all to figure that out. No, uh, and they just—I mean, I—they had to change it. What like, they changed the rules like five times in two yeah. years. Yeah, they did. It was so messed up. Oh my god! Then they gave the title yeah. to Abyss, and oh god, that Abyss sat thing on was it. like yeah, that was crazy. Rough, yeah. But anyways, this match was fucking sweet. This match was awesome, yeah. Yeah, it Dude, was. The AJ Styles drop down drop kick spot will never not pop me. It's so no, that's good. Awesome. It's so good. It's the perfect match opener. Like, yeah. it's it's incredible. It sets uh, the pace. AJ is is a is probably like one of the peak wrestlers in, in the world at this point. Sure. Yeah. Um, and this is the go to AJ Styles look. Whenever I downloaded the him red. off, oh, whenever yeah. I downloaded the the formula, the CAW yeah. formula. This is usually the attire that he was wearing. Yeah, I agree. It's either the red or the green. Blue one. Yeah, oh, always got the blue too. one because he blue was in the tag too. team yeah. with uh, yeah, yeah, Daniels. Yeah. I, I always think of the green AJ as the weekly NWA with the the headband. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good looks all around. This attire. Yeah, was cool. yeah, yeah. Everyone in 2006 wore a necklace too. That was pretty sweet. <laughs> with the, the puka shell. <laughs> the puka shell or shark shark tooth or something. Yeah, yeah just something shark there. tooth. You're right. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a pretty sweet look. So Daniels does a tag team move where. He somehow moved oh AJ God. into position to send on Saban out of a reverse DDT. It was like a he had Saban in a reverse DDT, then Uranagi'd AJ on top of Saban at it the was same time. Ridiculous. No clue. Daniels yeah. does a split leg moonsault off the rope that was just perfect. It's it's fucking fantastic. awesome. Yeah. Uh, Saban does a step up NZ to Daniels off of AJ Styles' back, <laughs> just, which was yeah. They're really killing it here. Again, it's really not hard to have this division work. It's the it's, moves it's, division. It just, like, yeah, how like, difficult is that? It's not How difficult. many guys during this time were in PWG doing moves? Dude, PWG was built on moves. It was just like, fucking moves. Are you company, kidding me? How whole company how, succeeded how, off of moves. <laughs> how is this not Eric? <laughs> <laughs> so AJ does a style in DDT on both Daniels and Saban here, which looked great. Yeah, that was the was that the styling into the regular DDT? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Daniels really, and AJ like, everything hit the, clicked here. Yeah, Daniels and AJ hit the high low as well, which was cool, like clothesline sweep leg. How I block. wonder how far removed they are from the tag run. So it's probably not too far. Maybe like honestly, I feel like months. it's the same year. Like <laughs> I don't think it's yeah. too far off. Yeah. So during the middle of this match. It cuts to the ramp, and you see someone start stumbling down the ramp. <laughs> and he looks up. It's Christian Cage it's with his head taped. <laughs> what? Christian Fuck. covered in blood with a microphone just, like, falling over himself. What the? I was like, what is happening here? He's got an unbelievable amount of concussions. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's still all bloody from earlier and everything, yeah. too. So Christian walks over into the middle of the match, gets, gets on, on the, the apron. apron with the yeah. mic. And he says that I am still the number one contender, god damn it. I'm, I'm undefeated, and I'm still the number one contender. And AJ Styles says, what the fuck? And that tags him right. <laughs> gets him off the apron. And not only that, he chases him out and starts kicking his ass. <laughs> he just whooping his ass <laughs> all the way up the ramp. Uh, while this is happening, Saban tries to get the cradle shock on Daniels. Daniels reverses into a crucifix pin and wins the X title. New wow. champ. Wow. I was like, nice. holy shit. Yeah. That yeah, was crazy. sweet. What yeah. do they do at Genesis 2006? Do they the run belts? this back? Or is uh, it uh, Daniels not, versus AJ? It's 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 oh wait I'm looking at about Jesus I was like I was looking at the wrong pay per view. Uh, it is Christian, Christian and AJ, AJ. Ooh, uh, and okay. Daniels and Saban. Oh, you know what? That's actually pretty good. I mean, yeah, like, that, that sounds pretty yeah, good. That yeah, makes that sense. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Uh, we have a backstage segment. Paparazzi Productions. Kevin Nash. This is so fucked. <laughs> There's so many just... Yeah, yeah, this is so fucked. So Kevin Nash makes a joke. He says, you don't have to worry about a hung jury. I got it here. I'm just a hung judge. <laughs> you just have to worry about a hung judge. Yeah. Fuck, he, also, he says, all rise. And Ari says, we're already standing. And Nash says, we'll stand taller. <laughs> <laughs> Man, look at me. We get Kevin Nash talking about a wrestler court case that he tried over. The Shawn Michaels and Blues Brother MSG 95 <laughs> case. 
<laughs> I was involved. I was involved in that. Tony was there? <laughs> wow. No, that's what that's what he says. That's what oh, okay. says. <laughs> I was involved. Kevin Nash tried that case in wrestler's court, and he said, just like that case, the plaintiff wins this case too. What the hell? So Austin Stars wins. He says, okay, you win this, and... Alex Shelley, give him a hard dollars. <laughs> He's like, what? Hey, dollars. <laughs> that's three weeks' pay. Why can't give him a hard dollars? Dude, Shelley then asks Kevin as he's walking out of the room. Case is, case is good. We're done. Dismissed. Shelley asks Kevin if he can appeal as he's leaving. The camera pans to Kevin Nash. It pans down. <laughs> and what do you see? Kevin Nash's whole ass. <laughs> it, he's he's naked. Wearing, he is naked. Butt ass naked. It's a shot of his ass. Alex Shelley no longer concerned about appealing. He says, whoa, you must work out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> so, it, so no appeal. <laughs> <laughs> it pans to Kevin Nash. It pans down to his ass cheeks. Kevin's looking back smiling and it's playing Smile. Lincoln Park numb MP3. <laughs> That is the epitome of my life, honestly. Oh my God. <laughs> what an all-time fucking segment here. Holy yeah. shit, if you, can, if you can sum us up, it's actually that whole oh, just oh ending shot there. <laughs> yeah, that would be dead. This is dead just, luck. <laughs> just an actual question turned into something about a fucking ass and whoa. <laughs> and then like it parks numb. <laughs> yeah, that's dead luck. That's dead luck right there. <laughs> That's so sweet. It's wow. just the beginning riff every time. <laughs> and then it stops. <laughs> oh, I had to pause because I was like so just fucking blown back. Yeah, yeah, so pause no and his ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I paused and looked at it. Whoa, you look like you work out. He's butt ass naked, bro. <sighs> All right, so from Kevin Nash's ass to burning stop. the American flag. It does not stop there. Backstage <laughs> segment. LAX and BD Williams are still going to burn this fucking flag. They're going to burn the flag now, all right? Burn the U.S. flag. Cody said they're going to burn the flag because of racism, all right? Christy Hemi ran up to try to say, what are you doing? Hey, stop! Hey, stop! They must and not Cody. be very far from the parking lot. <laughs> I guess not, cause, or, she, or she chased the car down. She's she actually very fast. She went to report on it, remember? They said, you want to report on this? Come with I'll give you some journalism. Alex Marvez style. She just shows yeah. up. Uh, yeah. Conan says, get out of here before I slap the red out of your hair. <laughs> uh, Hernandez pours gasoline on the flag, uh, and Conan says, Petey, I'm going to let you do the honors. And then Petey says that this flag represents a lot of bad things. Yeah, fuck the flag. Also represents some good things, like what the opportunity. Hell? Conan's like, what, what the fuck is that? What, 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 what do you mean by that, Petey? <laughs> yeah, Petey says it represents something else, and Conan says, yeah, racism. <laughs> <laughs> Petey says opportunity. Opportunity. Good, yeah. <laughs> Conan is so on point in this shit, man. It's yeah. incredible. So... He goes. He starts going on a little tirade about opportunity and how he came over to America and you know he got this and that and then I guess he didn't mention TNA released him and then his whole career nosedived and fuck yeah. America. He should have burned the actual flag. Actually, <laughs> so, so, should have got a TNA flag and burned it. Actually, probably what he should have done. <laughs> uh, so then PD they go to burn the flag and PD says you'll burn this flag over my dead body. No. He tries to hit Hernandez. And they beat the dog shit out yeah, of him. Yeah, go to hell. <laughs> Dude, he turns out there's three the guys. <laughs> he throws what do you the think? torch. Like, you know ass. what's funny about that? He chucks the torch, and I thought it like caught something on fire because you hear Chris Demon go, "Oh my god!" <laughs> <laughs> Somebody call nine one one. Help! 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 <laughs> Chris Davies on fire. Kevin Nash is there butt naked. <laughs> Whoa, you woke out. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. I wonder if there's a workshop thing with Fire Pro of Kevin Nash in his outfit with a powder wig and ass cheeks no out. Way. Well, if, you put on, if you listen. put on 2K, you get banned. So. Oh, 100%. <laughs> but Fire Pro, ethically, you will not. If someone You're wants right. to make Kevin Nash with a powder wig and ass cheeks out, <laughs> please feel free because I will download it. The front it. has the whole robe on. You can, yeah, you yeah, can see it on the front. Cheeks. Yes, so just his ass. Please get on that. Uh, LAX then puts the flag on Petey, and then they pour gasoline on Petey and the flag. Yeah, we're going to fucking kill they're gonna, America they're gonna and kill Canada. Petey Fuck this <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh, Christy is screaming for help, ah! and she's screaming for the police, and then thankful the police, I guess, Hear her. her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the says, oh shit, the police. And they run it's away. Nice, the popos. <laughs> it's the popos. <laughs> the popos. The popos. <laughs> I love Conan, dude. Fuck. He listens to his podcast. <laughs> dude. And just when you think it's over, James. It actually gets... It's, I, this felt like it was... 
This felt this like is, it was out of like a studio wrestling from 1950 or something. I fucking love Mike Denae Mike so much. Nobody takes wrestling as serious as Mike Denae does. Yeah, it basically Mike Denae goes, you know, I used to like these guys, but God damn it, I fucking hate LAX now. <laughs> and you know what, Petey Williams? You're a hero in my books. You're an American hero. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. oh my God, it's awesome. like Petey did not give in to peer pressure. <laughs> he says, Conan, I know you're going to flaunt the First Amendment. Well, let me talk about a little free speech. What I saw you guys do was the ultimate act of cowardice. Despicable! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's even, he spends his whole time, he's shitting on LAX. Fuck you. I love America. Petey, you're an American hero. And now let's go to Genesis Central. <laughs> Genesis Central? What DVD we got? Genesis Central? <laughs> let's go to Genesis Central what with Don West. Ah, I got the greatest Genesis 50 moments of TNA here. <laughs> what is Genesis? I've never heard of this thing, Genesis Central. Come on, bro. The Don West Genesis Central. Come on. <laughs> Dude, how do you go from Kevin Ash's ass to the Popo to the American hero P. Dude, Williams yeah, to Genesis Kevin Central? Ash's <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Ash's ass? Fast. They set the U.S. flag on fire. They set Chris Diemby on fire. <laughs> Mike today stands up for America, proclaims <laughs> Petey as an American hero. Let's go to Genesis Central. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, I'm actually interested in what happened with Pete Williams after this. He should have come out in like American flag attire and stuff. And, yeah, I'm sorry, no, just, uh, the bald eagle muscle. <laughs> I'm starting to sick. understand why Alvarez said that they tried to cram four hours into this show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a lot of stuff to cover here, right? <laughs> Fried time, baby. Genesis Don West, Central. What the Genesis fuck? Central. Yes, fuck. this is a, the classic segment, of course. So I don't remember, did they, they never do this ever again, ever, right? I don't know why they never did this because Don <laughs> West's whole it. job was to sell stuff. Yeah, so Don yeah. West is awesome, though. <sighs> no, he killed. This is actually a good segment. Don no, it's West, great. Don West comes through. He starts putting on his spiel about buying the TNA 50 Greatest Moments DVD. I actually oh. had this DVD. I think I, I probably did, did too. too. I probably Actually, got a brown bag special. Yeah, me too. It was fucking sweet. Uh, and if you can only imagine in Don West Genesis Central, he says TNA Genesis <laughs> is happening on November 19th. Oh my God. <laughs> it's a pretty sweet little segment here. He goes over the card and everything. And yeah, okay, cool. Sure. Yeah. yeah, why not? It was it, it just <laughs> really strange after all the other shit. Yeah. Pre, so we get a pre tape. Sting is back in wrestling. They said Sting returned to wrestling to kill Jeff Jarrett. So he... <laughs> <laughs> we watched that match last year, though, and it was yeah, uh, pretty sweet. It was the all timer awesome. spot at the end, yeah. The Sting, the Sting... fire up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. That's, that's an all timer. Unbelievable. Wow. That's, yeah. That's I feel like so that made bad. every TNA highlight video of all time ever. That yeah, I think so too. There, yeah. That always puts me in like a different mood, man. I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, just thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. What a great. It's just fantastic. Uh, Kurt Angle versus Abyss. The monster. Main event time. Yes. Kurt Angle, this was his first entrance song, so not the one you probably know. It's a little remix. Yeah, this is his first match in TNA ever. Yeah, on the prime time. So, I mean, this is a pretty big deal for them. Sure. I think uh, what I read was that they didn't tell Sting who signed when they signed Kurt Angle, and they brought him into a room, and they said, all right, I want you to meet the new signee, and he didn't know who it was. And then he was like, I was ready to put on a fake smiling face because he didn't he did think it was going to be like Hogan. Shit. <laughs> oh. And uh, he's like, oh, man, when I saw Kurt Angle, I was just smiling from, you know, ear to ear. That's awesome. So wow. Awesome. That's yeah. great. That's I can't fantastic. wait to kick out of your finish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I should have it now, Kurt. Go to AEW. Yeah, fuck. You know, so, they tried. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, they I guess you're tried right. tried a few times. They tried a bunch of different deals. I think they tried for like even just to bring him on as an on screen and he turned it down. I'd oh, love really? to have him on screen. I just love to have him around. I'd love to have all the wrestlers I like go to AEW. I agree. <laughs> so this crowd is so fired up for Kurt It's unbelievable. Jesus. Samoa Joe's been undefeated for 17 months. He was pretty much the guy in TNA. Yeah. Uh, and they immediately said, we want you to lose to Kurt Angle now. Yeah, it's... It, it, like, <sighs> Angle was so over, it was unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, I mean, at the time, like I said earlier, that match is a dream match. Yeah. But I, I could have waited. I could have waited. Well, the match, the match of Genesis, actually, you know, we talk about it being a dream match stuff, and I do remember it being a really good match. Sure. Um, but I think it was only like 12 or 13 minutes, yeah. and uh, he just beat him straight up. So. He ta I, I think he taps him out, too, right? We should watch that match. 
Yeah, we should. Yeah, we right. should put down the yeah. watch. Watch this thing. But I mean, uh, we'll you got. I mean, out. when you I mean, you talk about Kurt Angle, I, Kurt Angle has to be the biggest TNA signing ever, right? He's the top one, right? Yeah, I think so. I think yeah. so. Yeah. I don't. I mean, I don't. I mean, Sting obviously is a big deal, but Sting was yeah. back and forth. But Kurt Angle, Kurt's, yeah, Kurt was the guy. Like he was. He was, he was just supposed in WWE. To, yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah. So it's crazy. So Angle gets into this match, works the mat a little bit. Uh, Abyss actually stays on top for most of this, and I thought it was pretty cool that Kurt gave Abyss so much. Yeah, he did. Dude, seeing Kurt take the shock treatment, the fucking backbreaker, was awesome. Yeah, that was really cool. That's a good move in general, honestly. It is a really cool move. I I mean, if his fucking finish wasn't already sweet, I would be like, damn, that should be his finish. Yeah, it turns out Abyss just fucking rules. You know, Abyss is a really good, really odd, interesting, huh? (laughs) Abyss was awesome. (laughs) And then wasn't forever. Damn, Fuck. So James Mitchell comes out at the top of the ramp with a wheelbarrow full of tax. <laughs> I've never seen tax presented this way. <laughs> Mike Tanae says, this is what TNA is all about. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <Yeah. honestly. Yeah. laughs> Do they use these tax? No. Okay. I thought I was going crazy. Because I thought the same thing. I remember watching and I was like, did I blink and miss the tax spot? And then even in the post match, I was like, did I? Nothing. Did I yeah. miss? No, I don't think they use them at all. They didn't use these tags. So he brought the tags out, they put them it. on the floor, and then just didn't use them. Okay. They, yeah, they tease like Abyss going to power slam them into them, but then Kurt just slides out of it, and then they go back into the ring. I was promised that this is what TNA is all about. It is. It's about telling you something's <laughs> coming, and then it doesn't come. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's fucking real talk. I'm promising you so much and under-delivering. Yes, it's that is it's all about the hype and the disappointment that comes after it. <laughs> Abyss stays on top in this match for a bit. Then Angle come, hits a comeback. Three German suplexes here. Crowd is Crowd's, going nuts. Dude, crowd is losing it here. I think they chanted Angle for like five minutes straight. They never stopped. They stopped. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And, like, you can see them visibly in the crowd chanting it, too. It's just nuts. Yeah. They're going crazy. The guy in the crowd with the two towels is just full force <laughs> at this point going just There's nuts. There's a guy in the front row with an orange Gatorade shirt. I love that fucker. <laughs> oh, yeah, right in the center. Yeah, yeah I know that guy. he's always there. I want to figure out who the two towels guy is. That's a legend as far as I'm yeah. concerned. Yeah. I would, God, I'd Does love any, if, if anyone he would know, show back up at AEW's tapings. I, I agree. I would I would love to like just get his Twitter or something too. If you guys if yeah. anyone knows the two towel guy from TNA, hit us up. Let us know. He was awesome, yeah. Uh Abyss then hits the fucking meanest Dude. black hole slam here. Yo. Kurt couldn't have taken this any better, or maybe he didn't have the choice because Abyss <laughs> throws this fucking guy around like this was a black hole slam. Even this took match was going so dimension. good, dude. I think that they were just both so fired up that they yeah. just fucking sent it. Kurt never and ran that fast in his life. He just dude, went, no, <laughs> yeah. Was, yeah, he hit that rope too. Oof. He old school hit it. Yeah, he yeah. was going. Uh, very close, 2.9 here. Angle then does a victory roll into an ankle lock. Yeah. I love that way, that transition there. Yeah, it looks so smooth. Um, so Angle then keeps it locked in for a while here on Abyss. Abyss Forever. eats his ankle lock for a while. Yeah. Uh, he falls down and great vines him, and then Abyss eventually taps out. Crowd, <laughs> Going Just fucking the, yeah. nuts. Mo- moshing. They're lo- this is the best moment they've ever seen. Angle is so fired up, too. He's like, damn, this is pretty sweet. Yeah. <laughs> They're not saying you suck. This is pretty <laughs> sweet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Samoa Joe hits the ring afterwards, stares at him for a minute. Ooh. Angle is so over here that Joe just, I don't know. It's actually crazy that yeah. Angle is cheered the entire way through this thing. So because Joe, Joe hits- is beloved. Yeah, oh, he fans. was like the guy, yeah. Yeah, but Kurt Angle's just a different kind of shark. Joe hits the ring, looks at him. They confront each other. Angle belly to bellies him. <laughs> the crowd yeah, fuck you. Just, yeah. Oh my God. They're, yeah, they're moshing even harder than ever. Yeah. And then the second that Joe hits the enziguri here on Angle, Whew. the crowd just silent. The flates, yeah. Then Angle gets the ankle lock. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> <laughs> they go crazy, man. Uh, so Joe then... Flips Angle through the ropes, yes. which I thought was a pretty cool little spot. I always love getting out of submissions like that. It's cool. I thought so. It. Yeah, like I always like that stuff. Yeah, he, someone or someone taking a finish and rolling to the floor, just like yeah, with the momentum. Yeah, just I always like getting that out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like the one where there's someone puts in a hammer lock in the beginning and then rush like goes through the middle, oh, rushes the ropes and ducks under. Yeah, yeah and then they go yeah, out. Yeah, I like yeah. that a lot. That's, That's really, really cool. cool too. Yeah. Um. So then Joe hits Angle with a chair here. Angle puts Dude. both hands up on that one. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he puts both his hands up. 
but it still was like the one of the loudest sounds I've ever fucking heard from a chair yeah. shot. Like Joe, like swings this chair through his hands. You fucking taking it. <laughs> yeah, sweet. Yeah, it was good. Abyss and Joe uh, are now face to face in the ring. Abyss Ooh. is now up after the match. Yeah, and they're like they're gonna beat Joe's ass. Nope, they attack Angle. <laughs> <laughs> Joe points to Kurt, and Abyss says, "True." And they both okay. just stomping him out. <laughs> Then all of a sudden, <laughs> what Sting the f- what propels the fu- from the ceiling. On what? A big, like, it, it was like a, you know, when a giant hook comes down from Spongebob? Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Does this look dangerous? Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly like, just big fucking fishing hook. <laughs> Repels down from the ceiling, straight on top of the announcer table. <laughs> Don West is going <laughs> crazy. <laughs> it's the coolest thing he's ever seen. Yeah. Sting then cross body presses Abyss, and then Sting... Hits Abyss with a bat very annoyingly <laughs> until he leaves the arena. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Joe puts an ankle lock on Kurt. Ooh. And then we cut backstage, and somehow <laughs> Abyss has what? strung Sting up upside down <laughs> and is now hitting him with the bat. So they, on commentary, they said, oh, a trap must have been laid by James Mitchell. What? <laughs> yeah. A trap? <laughs> so, Kurt Angle. He set up so, booby traps? He yeah, booby uh, trapped him backstage. <laughs> Abyss rubs back. I wish there was a shot of that. Abyss fucking running backstage. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Just going Whoa. upside down. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. hanging upside down and Abyss hit it with a bat. Yeah, Sting is what upside down. Just falling in front of this trap. Ooh, ooh, I'm Sting. We cut back to the ring. Kurt Angle's bleeding now. Fucking Joe, what? How? From what? I, the chair? I guess. I guess yeah, maybe that's okay. what ended up happening. Yeah. Uh, and then Joe locks in the coquina clutch and starts having an orgasm. Adrenaline rush. Adrenaline rush. <laughs> yeah, they play the whole thing too. Wow. Dude, yeah, that's so the, the show the ends show. with Joe choking out Kurt, and then it goes to not only uh, a, a video recapping this show, but recapping like TNA's fucking whole history for the last four minutes of the show. <laughs> Yeah, they're like, well, gotta catch everybody up real quick. Yeah, <laughs> God damn, it's like from the weeklies till now, and then the recap this show, it's the whole Adrenaline Rush song played in full. Yeah, crazy. this was sweet, man. Whoa. What a ridiculous show, man. Just, like, you're right, that was a very good way to dude, put it. Dude, that middle segment from Kevin Nash's courtroom all the way yeah. down to the fucking, what the hell? I mean, they got a lot of people on the show, though, man. I mean, even yeah, Eric I Young mean, and the Snipers, like, they got a lot of people on yeah, here. Yeah, you're right. They put I mean, naturals they over. I mean, I mean, this I is know, a pretty good showcase of what DNA was. If you, Alvarez wanted to kill himself, but man, this is all we, <laughs> this is all we had, bro. This is all, we didn't want to watch fucking Raw, man. No. <laughs> <Someone else. laughs> all right, so the uh, TNA Genesis 2006, which is uh, coming after this show, uh, in the dark match, Eric Young defeats Robert Roode with Miss Brooks. Okay. The Voodoo Kin Mafia opened the show, defeating <laughs> Kazarian, Maverick, Matt, Park and... Guys? And Johnny Devine in a handicap match. <laughs> South Park Cops. <laughs> in in three thirty, yes, yeah, South Park Cops. Yeah, uh, the newly franchised Naturals defeat Sanjay Dutt and Jay Lethal in a tag match. I still don't really know what happened here with the Dudleys. I guess they went away. I don't know. Christopher Daniels beat Chris Sabin to retain the X Division title in thirteen minutes. Okay. Ron Killings and Lance Hoyt defeat Austin Starr and Alex Shelley. Whoa. Huh. Christian Cage beats AJ Styles. Uh, Homicide and Hernandez, LAX, defeat AMW, Chris Harris, and James Storm uh, to retain the tag team titles. Abyss defeats Sting via DQ uh, in a match for the NWA world title, where Sting is champion. I didn't realize Sting was the fucking we NWA talked champion. About this. Fuck, yeah. We talked about this. How did he beat him? It was so stupid. Oh, uh, in this match? Yeah. Uh... Toward the end of the match, Sting lays out a bunch of thumbtacks and is choke slammed on the attacks. Sting is able to uh, is able to scorpion deathlock Abyss, and Abyss taps. However, James Mitchell has the ref distracted. Sting then ties Abyss's legs up and hangs him upside down and proceeds to beat him with a chair. <laughs> when, when the referee attempts to break them up, Sting clotheslines the ref and gets DQ'd. <laughs> <laughs> unlike under TNA rules, unlike most of the promotions, the title changes hands via DQ, meaning Abyss was the new champion. <laughs> he does not hold. He holds the belt for like a week, or a something. month, yeah, if yeah. that, yeah. Like, Sting goes on a ref and Abyss thing. won the title. <laughs> what? Because we, we talked about Abyss's career. And yeah, like, man, that's right. That's I think fucked. that was the only uh, time he ever won the NWA title. He didn't win the TNA one either, did he? No. Uh-uh. Fuck off. And in the main event, Kurt Angle defeats Joe. By submission. 13 minutes. 13. Yeah. Wow. We're gonna check that okay. one out. Yeah, we should. We should watch that. Uh, but yeah, that was uh, TNA Impact from November 16th, 2006. 